everyone. Um, if you've been following my previous videos, you've obviously noticed that I had some audio issues. I really hope I figured out the, the issue there and fixed it. Um, but please, please, please let me know in chat if it's starting to get stupid and crazy again. Um, I think I did figure out the issue. And it's relatively simple. And it is the same issue as before, it's just I have to be careful and do it before I even start the stream. I basically have to mute my, my Twitch playback. I can't listen to it. So, I don't know when you guys hear things. Um, I know there's a, a bit of a delay anyway, but I don't, I'm not able to hear it. So, um, back to the giraffe. You weren't even able to hear that. Um, so, uh, I finished the first arm. That's pretty much what happened in the last stream where I muted myself. Finished the first arm. Uh, I may have to be a little more careful in choosing my yarns next time because uh, it, it's a little lumpy. I'm not sure if that's the necessarily the yarns I chose, or the way I stuffed it, or a little bit of both. Probably a little bit of both. Um, and actually, I think I may have just fixed that by shoving it in a little further and stuffing it very full. Um, my tan area is a little little stretched out. It's much thinner than the rest, so that's the one that uh, you can actually see the stuffing through there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, I, I actually I do not feel I don't like that, uh, but I don't know what else I can do about it. Um, I may just have to make my stitches a little looser. There's some areas of the brown, the tan there, that seem to be okay. Maybe I just need to play around with this a little more. And... Uh, get it to a, a spot that I like, so. Um, I've already started on the hoof, the paw, uh, the, the arm of the giraffe, the second one. So I hope to have two that look very much alike. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my window set up here so when you guys are talking to me, I am able to pay attention. And, uh, we'll get going here. Actually, it looks like I might need to start my bots up. Nope, they're there. Make sure that they're running. Make sure that you guys get coins for coming along. And, uh, coins to be used for giveaways. and then the, the pattern bit there. So if you'd like, you can type um, exclamation point pattern and it'll link you to the pattern that I'm using here that I'm looking up. Oops, I did not need to pull it out. All right, pattern, now in front of me. So I've just made one, two, Three, four. Oh, I finished all the, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I finished, um, the decrease bit, and I think I get to move on to a color now. Yep, change color, so we're going to orange. Again, orange, yeah. I wish I could sincerely apologize to anybody who stopped by in the last uh, in the last stream. I think I saw that the, at least one person might possibly have stopped by, so I, I feel pretty bad that they probably had a horrid experience. It was either muted or crazy reverb. And my roommate's currently making stuff, so you'll hear his music and his banging. He's uh, making leather stuff. He is a leather worker. Self-made, self-made leather worker, but definitely uh, putting in the time and the effort. Uh, he is working on actually getting a, a official like office space, so office space work area. Um, I don't mind him working here. 
Uh, I hope you guys don't mind him working here. <laughs> I know some of his music is pretty neat. I told him that I didn't mind his music as long as like it didn't meet my stream because it's copyrighted stuff. He likes uh, a lot of heavy metal. So. Alright, so we got that orange pulled through the first one there. And time to stick it in there. And we got 12 around for all of these. 12 around and do it twice. Sounds like a do si do. One. Two. And three. Okay. So we'll cut this off, tie it together. Four. I feel like I'm being super rough with this stuff, just to get it around. I did go, well, you probably didn't hear me say this before, but I was saying I should probably go into Little Blue Bot's channel and, uh, Little Blue Box, Little Blue Box's channel, and, uh, see about getting attached to the Naughty by Nature thing. Uh, she already pretty much invited me, so, yay! Uh, I'm not sure I was being a little passive-aggressive about it. I just mentioned that I was doing it. Um, I'd kind of been, like, pie in the sky, kind of, oh, that'd be so cool if I could get into it, and she just offered it, so I was like, oh my gosh! Um, but I was not able to stay to the end of her stream uh, to get the details for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, great. 12 oranges. I'm going to do it all over again. Seven, eight, nine, oof. ten. I feel like I'm making this very tight. Eleven and twelve, and I don't pull through this last one because we're going to the next color, which is blue. Blue. Heck of a round here. That goes around here. We got our blue over here. We gotta find a nice end. I believe it's in here somewhere. And I believe wrong. It's here.
I should probably focus on making some of these ends a little smaller, making them pretty large. Um, but I figure that's something that comes with time. And getting a good gauge of how much you need. And I'll do three stitches to lock in those tails. Hey, my car! <laughs> Super boring moments, huh? How long have you been watching? I know some people are little lurkers, so I don't actually know how long a lot of people hang around for. Sure, these ends are tied tight. And continue doing twelve of these. Five minutes, all right. <laughs> Must have been a really bad five minutes. <laughs> Oh, really boring five minutes. Uh, I don't know if you were here earlier, but uh, my audio issues were something horrendous, so it's a good thing you showed up now instead of like 20 minutes ago. Or you could have been here then too. It was. It's. I, I described to my roommate as auditory epilepsy. Do you do any sort of crafting? Oh, okay. Have a good day.
Dang it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I didn't think it should have gone away. Variegated blue. Getting a job would be nice. Streaming on Twitch is kind of fun. Except when it's lonely. I'm so lonely. I like to listen to music, except most of the music would have that copyright thing and I'd get muted and it would just be really bad. I don't want to get muted. Especially if people come in and talk to them. And now I remember stuff that happened later. Yeah. Sad. Okay, so we got this one left, and then we switch colors. Next color... Mike R7. Eight, one, three. Mm -hmm. I wasn't kidding, I was in here for almost exactly five minutes. Let's see. Pink. Pink is next. Pink. This is why I don't like having small tails, because the possibility of me actually pulling it out is pretty high. I have like a centimeter, half an inch. There we go, pull that through, and we'll pull this one through. Okay. Sad track there, Mr. Blue. The pink one on the inside, got the blue on the inside. And do a couple more. And then we can tie them off. Two and three. There we go. I learned my lesson and I want to make a longer tail. Longer than that one I just made. Oh, I don't want to get my loop stuck in this knot here. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, and we move on with the pink. I should probably poke my sister and have her watch this. Be like, this is what I'm making for your daughter. But she's also a nurse and probably more busy with life and two kids than watching her sister make her daughter's gifts. This is for uh, my niece Eloise's birthday, um, which is at the end of August. Uh, I want to make sure I have it done by then. I'm not exactly the best with getting things like that done on time. So I also have to make her and her younger sister monkeys for Christmas. So I want to get a head start on those uh, and not have to worry about them. I figured this year I might be able to crochet everybody something. I saw these little booties that I could crochet and I was like, let me get rid of my family booties. <laughs> I know the guys in the family would be like, uh, thanks? The girls would probably love them. My mom, my sister, my aunts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How did I get that many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it should end here. One, two, three, four. How in the world? And I didn't do anything extra over there. They're all inside other stitches. Nothing doubled up. I don't even know how that happened. So, I'm going to skip one here, because, holy cow, extra stitches. This happened last time, too. Uh, I didn't skip any, though. Um, but I figured I may have been using the knot. Uh, to, that I tied in the other new yarn with as a stitch, even though it's not a stitch, on the second go around. So it's possible I could be gaining two extra stitches per color. Man, I am noticing the lights flickering again. If we do have a brownout, I'm just gonna get up and go outside and jump the pool. And I know I'm very lucky to have a pool out here in Southern California. Very lucky. I just kind of feel like places that don't have central AC really should have a pool. Uh, it's, it seems almost crazy that you have no way of relieving yourself from the crazy heat that's out here. And again, like I, I don't remember who I was saying when I got out here. I don't know what in the world possess people to come over the, you know, across the freaking desert to, to settle out here. I mean, I'm sure there's gold, but really, you're, wow, that's, that's just crazy. That's, that, that's a long desert, and I was in a car, not on a freaking caravan, you know, dying of dysentery. Or maybe it was, who knows, a past life thing and all that. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got three more, which is not going to bring me to the uh, ten. Eleven. It's going to be close-ish. No, not really. We're going to skip another one here close up this crazy amount of sti extra stitches I got going. 
11, 12. And I still need one more stitch in here to get to the right spot. Did I do that right? I'm gonna start that one over again. Two can be as bad as one. Or maybe some of these stitches are just like elongated, so it feels like that one skip, that one skip. No, my skip was the problem. So we'll finish this guy off. Pull it through, all the way through. Okay, next color is tan. Tan, that is quite the mess. Mess in the sense of how I took it off of the skein. I'll grab the pink in the tail, have that back here. So I do the first pull through with the tan. I'll do the first three stitches to lock in those. Uh... Actually, doing this first stitch might be where I created the extra. Um, one of the extra stitches, because I think I would put it in the same stitch, like I put two in there. Now I'm looking at what I'm doing a little more carefully. It's so tiny. Get back on the hook. And all the way through. Come on. Come all the way through. Uh, I hate it when I split the yarn. So it doesn't come through the, the, the other yarns correctly. Don't want to pull the other ones out. Yeah, split it there so that'll make it difficult later. Stick it in correctly. And then pull that through. There we go. So we'll get a couple more of these going. Make sure I'm not burying, I am burying stuff I will need later on. Oh, oh no. Jeez. My, my velour brown is becoming a big mess. That's the last, second to last color. Alright, tying these guys.
Okay, let's count these now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How did that happen again? Well, it's only fourteen this time. Um, I'm not going to skip one here by the first knot. So actually, this is fifteen around, which it should not be. It should only be twelve. I think somehow I added three more stitches. Um, but actually with this row, I might just keep it like this. I'll shorten the other ones. This one could use a few extra stitches with this yarn. As we saw before how much it stretched out when I put the, uh, the stuffing in. So this color has some leeway. The other ones, not so much. We'll have to tighten those up a bit. I'm half tempted to type my new command into the MooBot. The MooBot's in here as well as the Revlobot. Um, I just heard a funny noise, like something metal fell on the ground. Something long and skinny metal. Skinnier than this hook, even. and longer. Alright, so the next color after this is going to be green. And it will be this weird tealish green. I almost feel like this tan should be three rows. It's so skinny. But I don't want to do that yet. Change it up because the uh, the other arm looks only has two in it, so we're gonna leave it that way. We are going to leave it as is. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. All right. This and now it's time for green. Green is also very thin. So green tail, brown, go back here, and you get this gets inserted into the next stitch. Actually, making sure it's the next stitch, not the same stitch this time. Alright, so we'll tighten that up a bit, and then do three stitches, so it won't fall out when I go to cut and tie. And I am closing up some of these extra stitches now with this green that I got. Because the next, uh, next colors are pretty... they're larger. After this green, they're larger. Actually, the green is the light pink, which is this, which you can actually see. It's about twice the thickness.
Well, this is kind of like one of those ragdoll-esque sort of uh, stuffed animals, so it uh, it's not terribly, terribly important how uh, consistent they are. It actually adds a little bit of character to them when they got the different... Uh, Alright, I'm just going to stop here for a second and start stuffing. I don't want to get too far where I can't uh, get all the way down to the bottom and stuff it down there. So. for the entire leg. Arm. These are arms and it's a giraffe. Technically giraffes don't have arms, they have four legs. But this is a sitting style giraffe, so there are arms. It has arms. Stuff, 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 stuff. Alright. That's a good amount to be stuffed for now. Not like before where I had to freaking shove it all in. Shove it all until it's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable for me to keep crocheting on it. Okay, we are. We have, uh, let's see. That's one. This is two. Three. Four. I was making sure the mute button wasn't still on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're gonna skip one. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve right here. Still gonna be thirteen because I need to get it one more. I'm trying to keep all the color changes in line with each other. So we're gonna go a thirteenth. Find the pink end wherever it has gone. I saw it a second ago. There it is. Okay. I said this was amazing about this pink here is that it's still working as a center pole, uh, even with how little there is left of it. I'm very happy with that. We'll pull the pink through, and then anchor the two tails. One, two, and three. Let's tie it off.
And there goes my hook onto my lip. skip one since I know I have extras. Or do I? I'll wait till I get closer to the end. Six. Seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. That was eight. Nine. Twelve this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Twelve, and then the next after light pink is brown. This guy, this guy right here, the velour brown. And pink needs to come around here. And the velour brown is going to be coming through. The tail goes in there. Three stitches. One. Two. And three. stuff with the tails.
I was saying about working with Allure before, you need to be careful with it. And if you notice a mistake, go back and fix it right away. Because if you wait even a couple days, the velour will crush. And it'll get these kinks in it. So it'll And it'll lose its fluffiness. So I had that happen once. I had a project I set aside for a couple weeks or whatever. And it, uh, and then I realized I'd made a mistake earlier on. I finally decided, okay, I'm going to tear it apart and go back and fix it. Well, the velour, it just... Like, it, it almost maintained its shape, it remembered where each stitch was. Um, so it wasn't as nice as if I had done it right the first time and not let it sit and, you know, continue to hold that shape. Also, when you rip it out, it kind of, like, flattens it, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, good, and twelve. And I'll be stuffing more after this one. I think what I'm going to do after this one, after I make the, the giraffe, is I'm going to go back and make a black kitty with regular black yarn, and then I'm going to see how I like that in comparison to what I've done so far with the the other kitty, um, the special one I'm making with the, the special yarn. Yeah, I went at Starbucks for lunch today, right before my interview. I don't think I'd really recommend it. It wasn't that filling. It, I mean, it was a chicken pesto something like almost like a hot pocket but slightly fancier it just i don't know it didn't say anything about having red sauce and it. it didn't it wasn't something i expected to have like a marinara sauce but it did so i a little uncomfortable marinara sauce is acidic for my tummy see the pink did the weird thing again i had to do this last time and make sure that the the ends are pulled in. Okay, and after the brown is the purple, so we're gonna do a couple more here. And, well, and the coffee I just had. That probably didn't help my stomach either. The coffee's so good. Especially the slightly flavored ones. I'm a sucker for the flavored coffees. Yeah, that little, those little yarns, that tan and that greenish tealish, really have a hard time keeping up with their thicker, fatter yarn brothers and sisters there. So stuffing this really brings out that, that inequality. You can totally see that. I'll stuff less at the bottom and more in the middle. It's not an easy stuff to do. It's almost like a natural, natural bend there. Mm, there we go. That's almost flat. If oh, man, I'd love to use that tan for more. It's just it's so little. Almost every yarn I have does like it goes well with that bluish greenish. I just I need to stop using it for projects. I may have to find a different tan to use for this project from here. How many more times do I use tan in here? Um, one. Once in the legs. Um, the horns, she says, doing white. And the head doing white. Oh, no, head. Horns and white, head and white, change color, purple, yellow, red, green, light, pink, blue, pink. Okay, cool. There's none in the head. Let's see the ears. Body, red, purple, orange. So, it looks like just the legs.
because the, the main body does not have call for tan. At least not that I can see. I might be able to replace tan with more more orange if I need to. There's something in my eye. Okay, um... Tan. Oh, tan is in the body. Uh, between green and pink. I'm going to call for a light green. Oh man, I need another color, so. Green and pink. Or red and yellow, and then blue. And does the body call for orange at oh. all? I don't think so, so I could use orange. Oh, it, it does up there. Orange looks far enough away where I could substitute tan. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Orange instead of tan. Or I could go looking through my yarn and find the other tan thing. I do think I do have some. Okay. So, it's almost 8 o'clock. I stuffed that. I do want to finish it. Finish off with the purple. I made it need to take a dinner break also, so then I will stop for a bit. I won't make you guys wait. Keep the I won't keep the stream running. I don't know how other streamers do it. I really don't. Like you, you need to eat, but but you don't. You just stream for hours on end. Sorry guys, I need to eat. Otherwise I get cranky. I'm one of those people who totally gets hangry. weird random thoughts running through my head. Remembering a time I went traveling and it wasn't going so well. And uh, it, it kind of has to go along the hangry comment. It, it wasn't going so well and the two people I was traveling with... Oh my god, I just cut the wrong one. I hate it when I do that. I'm gonna, I need to cut the brown. Dang it. <sighs> Maybe I need to stop and eat sooner than... Sorry, no, we'll finish this and then I'll eat. Um, crap. Um, we'll do it like this. Like it's, like it's a color change. It's not a color change, it's just combining the two freaking threads because I'm off in Lala land at the moment. Um, in Hangry land. So we were traveling, it wasn't going so well. 
the one girl I was traveling with thought she could get a better deal from the taxi guy. And so she's like, we'll just walk. We'll, we'll do it ourselves. And then she went down to a different taxi stand, which she thought she could do and get a better deal. But she didn't realize that the other taxi stand, I hope you can hear the air quotes, taxi stand, um, well, you can't really see my hands at all, can you? Mm -mm -mm. I'm working way over here. You can't. Mm, I'm working really close to my mouse. Boop. Boop. There we go. Uh, anyway, so yeah, the taxi stand, the second one, was like motorcycle only. Like they gave you a helmet and you jumped on the back of them. Well, we had all of our luggage. We're trying to get to the airport and go back at the end of our trip. And like there's lots of little instances like this. And for the most part, I let them pass. But this one, like we're about to miss a freaking flight. Which, honestly, we missed our flight. But I'm not sure. I don't think I was hungry at this point. I was just kind of fed up with spending extra money that we didn't have to spend because we would have been out better off if we had planned ahead, which they neither of them had really been traveling before. They had no idea how to go about traveling another country. It's not like just traveling in the U.S. where you get in a car and go somewhere. You know, you have to get take your visas into consideration. You have different currencies in different countries. And I just uh, I was so annoyed. Just their entire lack of self-awareness and survival skills. Um, so yeah, we were late, and you know we get to the counter or whatever, and we try to write, read, get our tickets, and it just wasn't going well. Um, so th we ended up getting booked on another flight that was very close to the same time that we had. And, uh, we, we got really nice seats, like, because the other seats were, I don't know, they just, they upgraded us. And she's, you know, we got in there and she's like, well, this isn't so bad. This worked out all right. I'm like, it worked out because we're white. We're white people in Thailand and they know we have money, which pretty much is exactly what we did. We threw money at the problem, which I felt terrible for and a little just annoyed because she seemed to think that was fine and it, it really wasn't. They wouldn't have helped us if we were Indian. They wouldn't have helped us if we were Thai. They helped us because we were freaking white. Anyway. That uh, happened and we got back. We didn't have to pay a crap ton of extra money because we were white. I was also first one in line and knew how to talk to freaking people. She may have done fine on her own, but she would have also spent a lot of extra money. Because she would have gone back and been all salty with the people. But we're in a tourist town. You're going to pay tourist prices. Alright, we are done here, and I need food so badly. I'm not functioning well. Alright. Long tail. Long tail. So we can sew it to the body when the body exists. And just a touch more stuffing. But the instructions also say to leave stuffing, at the, uh, leave some room at the top to sew it on. It'll be a little bit of a floppy arm. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Hmm. Excellent. Alright, I've got two arms done for the giraffe. And long tail. Long tail. Excellent. So I got two arms of my little giraffe. All started.
ready to go. Actually, they're finished. The arms are finished. Yay, arms! Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Alright, <laughs> I'll come back after I do dinner and we'll start on the legs and the body. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. I know this probably wasn't as, uh, it, it feels like it was a rough, uh, a rough, my rough go to begin with, uh, with some of those other stuff this afternoon, so, evening, honestly, it's 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, so it's even later for a lot of people, so, have a good evening, I will be back. Bye.